YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. I'm with the RC Supremacy, and all we're doing is scaling and sending. You guys know that, but today it's D Day. It's the finale to the series, aka Hold Your Breath Day. We're going to be spray painting all water based. We're going in on all water based paints today. And uh, if you guys do know that stuff, it's very finicky, very unreliable. So uh, I am holding my breath. Uh, we could ruin this entire project within a couple of strokes and a little PSI. If you guys are and have been following, this entire series I really appreciate that we're pushing 60 minutes of content after this installment is wrapped up I really appreciate all the support and the feedback it's been unbelievable so guys I'm gonna go down to the lake get a little Zen in pray to the drift gods pray to the water based gods and uh, hopefully this project is a wrap and it turns out good uh, it, make sure you guys do like share subscribe the video it helps out tremendously and uh, let's get it going time boys alrighty we're starting off with a really thorough job on cleaning I'm using some simple green degreaser and I'm just going ahead and removing all the grease all the fingerprints anything that had accumulated in the build process and uh, I'm just doing a really thorough job guys making sure nothing's left behind because it will affect the paint job uh, remember everything is reverse on the Lexan so we're painting reverse we're doing everything reverse than you would be on a standard helmet or anything you'd be painting on the outside priming and, and, and vice versa so you're you're going to see me using the Cameo 2 inch masking tape here. I've been using this product the entire series. If you're not familiar with it, I have touched on it in some previous videos of the uh, of the series. So go check out one and two. Uh, you'll get familiar with it and uh, in all of its uses. But I'm just masking up the windows. And we're going to be using a little masking paper uh, just to cover the outside of the side windows. And uh, you're going to see me just be real thorough, just getting some accurate cuts here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this and, and move right into the process. So moving on to the decals, I did run into my first hiccup and uh, I was peeling the decal from its backing on the transfer tape and had a small rippling towards the end of the decal. So I applied it, I reapplied it to the backing and kind of finessed it. Um, I, luckily I did do so because I, I had to salvage. I only had one decal per side of the vehicle so uh, it was uh, crucial to, to make this work. Uh, you're going to see me use a little quarter inch tape to uh, fill in some like holes in some of the areas that were peeled up. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh, taking my time trying to get this as best as possible and then moving on with a Sharpie, just kind of penning in on the, both the door and the roof. A little uh, design that I had came up with and uh, it's gonna kind of encase and encompass all of the YouTube logos and kind of seamlessly work into the white outline on the door. So uh, you're gonna see me run through that.
Brah. All of our background work is done in a shading, so we're going to move on to laying our colors. We're going to be going with some fluorescence, and this is the Kratex product, all water-based, and we're going to be balancing it out with some 40-30 uh, balancing clear. When activated, it kind of uh, you know simulates a, a urethane base, so uh, you know they definitely suggest it, and I do too, spraying both and doing the test. It definitely, definitely helps. Um, this is 40-12 reducer. Again, a Kratex product. You're going 5 to 10% um, by volume after you mix your 40-30 with your paint and uh, you're going to let this sit uh, with the reducer in it for about 10 to 15 minutes just for it to emulsify and uh, kind of creates a, a better bond and of course pigmentizes. So um, go ahead and uh, just, you know, peep this. I'm laying very, very light coats uh, coming in uh, frequently with the hair dryer uh, just to speed up the process. And uh, if you guys do know and are familiar with fluorescence, um, it's backed with white and uh, that's what gives you that pop and that really, uh, you know, vibrant glow. So I'm laying it until I, uh, you know, kind of get it as dark as I, I want, but you're still going to see some transparency. So keep that in mind if you do spray that um, because you're not putting it over white. You're putting down the fluorescent first and then backing it with white. So keep that in mind. Uh, you'll see kind of an idea of how dark I do go in some of it. And uh, I will go over it with the enamel, uh, back it a few uh, coats with that, and then uh, go over it with the matte clear coat just to, uh, you know, solidify everything. <laughs> Guys, we are this. I'm still holding my breath, honestly. It, we are this close to finishing this body. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the gold leaf. And those of you familiar with gold leaf and real gold leaf, uh, I, I honestly can't express how finicky and how delicate this stuff is. Uh, in our case, we're gonna be running the 14 karat gold leaf and adhering that with an enamel, rustoleum enamel. It's a high gloss. Basically, uh, gonna be in and out within 10 seconds. I'm trying to be uh, as quick as possible. Gonna let it tack up really quickly. Throw the gold leaf on there and uh, just work in small sections at a time uh, I went ahead and threw the gold leaf on the body just because we're only chasing the gold subscribe button guys I appreciate it and uh, let's go let's try not to mess up
We are almost done, guys. We are very, very close to completion, and we're moving on to adhering a few of the body accessories to the body. I'm going to be using a little technique with duct tape and a product called Amazing Goop, which is going to be my adhesive of choice. It's an automotive product that is super gnarly. The chemicals and the smell it exudes is bad so be very cautious when using this stuff it is an automotive product that virtually dries crystal clear and after 24 hours of its setting it is literally a rock solid bond that will rip your lexan body apart when trying to uh, take it apart so it's strong stuff use precautions um i definitely have a mask on you cannot see but i do have a mask using it i should probably be using gloves but boss and then you're gonna see i'm gonna move into the uh, little uh, vents ducts that we made for the roll cage. Uh, that is just body screws on there um, that is uh, holding it to the back window. And then moving on to the over fenders, we're going to put four body screws on each one of the corners and uh, go ahead and just put that where it needs to be and then wrap the entire um, fender with its screws. I think in total on the front was 16 and then the rear was dabbling in the 17 uh, screw range. So uh, that right there, let alone, is almost 70 screws. I think in total, I'm going to get a, a final count, but it's pushing in somewhere in the 100 range in body screws. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, check this and uh, I'll chime back in here shortly. Honestly, this is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing and easiest details that I added to the body, in my opinion. And it's uh, basically comprised of a two inches, three inches in total of three sixteenth of an inch polystyrene tubing and this deep gold vinyl that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm cutting small strips. And I'm just wrapping it right around the tubing just to kind of emulate a, um, a heat tape or like uh, a, a heat reflecting tape that you commonly see um, on, uh, on radiator plumbing and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's dope. I set it in there. I fix it. And uh, just a small modification to the radiator to uh, just accept this, the tubing. And, and that's your, your finished product. It looks uh, very cool. So while we're cooling this beast up front, I figured a custom intercooler would be suitable. And I just drilled a couple holes in the front bumper just for a flusher fit and for better contact points when I do uh, hear that too. And I made some fittings out of polystyrene just to fit and house my steel tubing and wiring or, you know, the, the fluid tubing. And that's such a cool product. I'm not too familiar with that. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's an RC product or something in big box stores, but you're going to see me paint this and the intercooler a tequila yellow candy color from Kratex. I thought it came out really awesome on the uh, wires particularly because it was like a gold like copper look a dark deep co like gold copper it looked really really sick. Here it is on the intercooler and I hand painted those fittings a red and blue. Right after that it was time to wrap it up. This was the last steps in the process, and I'm going to be painting just the rims and a small a bit of those accessories. The DS race, uh, Racing and Element uh, Drift Rims are amazing. They had me so consumed in color combinations. I finally settled on it, and uh, I went ahead and laid on the rear diffuser a gunmetal look with the metallic silver and an aluminum, um, aluminum wicket color from Kratex. And here's the final look on all that. I went ahead and matte. Uh, clear coated that moving on to the roll cage graphic that peeks outside the window that I was telling you I was going to do we're going to be repping for the home country and I'm putting an American flag on there going to be running that with some blue and red metallic over the white polystyrene I did nothing but stuff that up and uh, and of course masked it here's the final product on that I went ahead and did a matte finish over that as well and then the same technique used for those other body accessories i went ahead and used for the roll cave duct tape at the contact points 
So that cut was to me and fortunately this build series, which it's officially dubbed, is over guys. I had given you all the tools, all the materials used in this entire 60 plus minutes of, uh, of building. I hope that you guys can create some really, really cool stuff with it. Make sure to tag us, make sure to shoot us an email, whatever. Show us what you've come up with. I really, really dig that. And I'm gonna have a little reveal, a little overview and build list uh, video, a little cinematics look and hopefully some drifting uh, uh, with the shell as well and then i'm gonna retire i'm gonna put it up we're gonna be doing a bunch of events next year so hopefully that's a uh, a centerpiece and a tabletop piece at a lot of these uh, events and uh, we'll definitely be having a schedule of that coming up in the next few weeks here so look out for that we're definitely going to be going hard next year not only with you guys but just on the local scene in general so again if you guys have made it this far and you've peeped those previous videos i really do appreciate it um, i've put in a lot of hard work thus far you know know the editing and of course the body work uh, in between all of the uh, the strenuous uh, stuff I got I got this done with the help of my girlfriend as well I can't thank her enough and we're finishing it up we're gonna have that reveal video in the next couple days here but if you want to see those photos prior to that video dropping go over to the Instagram I'm gonna have that link below and it'll probably be on the screen right here but go check that out I really appreciate that if it's one thing that uh, you guys can do for me is drop a like and go follow the Instagram so again guys I appreciate it just a huge shout out real quick to my dad aka Nielski he was just a phone call away on it all in his uh, previous days he you know was holding down the custom paint scene and has done I mean a lot of work for some notable people and uh, everything from the jet skis to you know power boats cars you name it he's done it I'm definitely gonna throw a bunch of uh, you know photos of his work and uh, even back to the MX days man he's always had me on the freshest lids to the latest candy paints and uh, I really really appreciate it man he's been a an extreme mentor to me and uh, of course uh, you know feeding off of his creativity has definitely helped me mold my own and uh, thanks again dad I appreciate guys, it that's gonna wrap it up I appreciate it and until next time